Namaste. Good evening. This is Dr. Aparna. I am an Ayurvedic psychotherapist, a passionate Ayurveda and psychotherapy infoprenor, medical writer, a neuropsychology and psycho-oncology educator. In my pursuit to address, promote and propagate Ayurveda and psychotherapy globally, I come up with discussions on Ayurveda, mental health, psychotherapy and related aspects. I also do book reviews in this journal. So, today we are discussing on mental diet. So, what is a mental diet? A mental diet is a framework for positive thinking. So, um, the mental diet uh, book was, uh, you know, written by... Um, it is a book written by Neville Goddard and a mental diet refers to the conscious control of your inner conversations and the thoughts you feed your mind. So it's like a diet for your thoughts, similar to how you choose healthy foods for your body. A mental diet is a diet for your thoughts. So, um, mental diets, as I said, um, you know, the concept of mental diet is the food we feed our minds and its impact on thoughts, emotions and behavior. So, a mental diet is monitoring our thoughts and feeding ourselves with the best ingredients. So, feeding ourselves with best of the thoughts, best of the ideas and anything else that empowers us and helps us progress toward our goals. So, the central part of a mental diet is to immediately replace any negative thought with a positive and energetic thought that will bring you joy and lead you towards your goal. So, a mental diet is an excellent tool for manifestation. So, the law of attraction here states that you attract in your life what you focus on. And the mental diet is a tool that helps you focus on thoughts that are helpful in your manifestation journey. So, here uh, the author explains the power of thoughts. So, uh, here in the power of thoughts, uh, I will do a detailed, you know, book review on the book mental diet today we are only you know brushing through the important points so in this book the author discusses about the power of thoughts so uh, you know we can explore the science behind how our thought thoughts influence our reality and how negative thinking patterns can hold us back so uh, in this book it is also discussed that, you know, identifying negative mental diets. So, the book delves into recognizing negative thought patterns like self-doubt, fear and criticism. And it also provides examples that might be provided to help readers identify these patterns in their own minds. And this book also talks about building a positive mental diet. That means strategies for cultivating positive thinking, you know, uh, such as gratitude practices, positive affirmations and reframing negative thoughts. So examples of transforming negative thoughts into empowering ones are also included. So how to maintain a healthy mental diet also is discussed. So um, today we are going to discuss, see, as I said, the mental diet is, uh, you know, refers to the conscious control of your inner conversations and the thoughts you feed your mind. So how can a mental diet help, you know, help? according to the author. So, mental diet can help 
you know in manifesting desires so neville believed our thoughts have the power to shape our reality so by focusing on positive thoughts and feelings aligned with your desires you can cultivate a mental diet that attracts those desires into your life so and also breaking negative patterns see negative patterns and self talk can hold you self criticism or uh, and self talks can hold you back so this mental diet helps you identify and replace these limiting beliefs with empowering ones leading to a more positive outlook and improved well being so building confidence and self esteem so by consistently feeding your mind with positive thoughts about yourself and your capabilities you can cultivate a strong mental diet that boosts your confidence and self esteem improving emotional well being so negative thinking patterns can contribute you know to anxiety and depression so a mental diet focused on gratitude joy and acceptance can lead to a more positive emotional state so how to build a men- positive mental diet is our today's you know discussion see the author believed our reality is shaped by our dominant thoughts and inner conversations so how is so you know to build a positive mental diet we need to be aware see awareness is the first thing that is catch yourself that means the first step is becoming aware of your inner dialogue so throughout the day pay attention to your thoughts and observe whether they are filled with self doubt worry or criticism notice recurring negative themes so you might find yourself constantly thinking i will never get that promotion so you have to be first thing to develop you know to build a positive mental diet to be aware of your inner dialogue to be aware of your thoughts to be aware of your emotions and to notice what all the recurring negative themes are and then the next step is reframing so shifting the narrative once you identify your negative negative thoughts see don't judge yourself instead consciously choose to reframe them into positive affirmations so for example replace the negative thought with i am keep i am a capable and deserving employee i am constantly learning and growing which will lead to opportunities for advancement see if you feel uh, in the jo- um, at your uh, workplace that you are not being recognized or um, you are not being appreciated or rewarded for your work and you um, your mind uh, fills up with the negative thoughts that i am unworthy enough i am not worthy i am not capable replace that negative thought with i am a capable and a deserving employee whatever you feel you know the, the replacement can be done as per your choice so i am constantly learning and growing so which will lead to opportunities for advancement and the reframing can be done um, with the help of journaling as well we'll discuss journaling as well so feeling is the key the next thing is once you replace it feeling is the key that means the author says live in the end so the author emphasizes the importance of feeling as if you have already achieved your desires so when crafting affirmations focus on how you would feel if your goal were realized for example instead of simply saying i will get that promotion say i am so grateful for this promotion so 
what happens is you will feel confident and excited about the new challenges so if once we live in the end that means if you already you know um have the feeling that you have achieved your desires or you know how, how you would feel if your goal is already accomplished you know you have to you know imagine conversation and success that means imagine you communicate very well with your in, with the interviewer in the interview room while confidently answering everyone closing the job in your favor so you got the job so so imagine the conversation and imagine the success so and after getting the job you're pretty happy and your close ones are also happy so what you have to do is practice until you feel the reality so practice as much to achieve the job you know talk positively you know talk happiness imagination congratulations etc as you achieve your goals and yes it will be beneficial you will think is it beneficial yes it will be in the long run it will be beneficial so next is visualization as you feel you also you have to visualize see your success so take time each day to visualize yourself achieving your desires immerse yourself in the details of this imagined reality so see yourself receiving that promotion receiving the award the reward feeling valued and respected in your new role the next thing is gratitude and appreciation so shift your focus see cultivate an attitude of gratitude for the good things in your life see gratitude and appreciation does not mean that uh, you will only have good things in your life or you will not have any bad things in your life so it is a habit that you cultivate you know that you are you Uh, cultivating an attitude of gratitude for the good things you have in your life at present today so no matter how small it is this reinforces positivity within your mental diet so start each day for example by listing three things you are grateful for today so it can be your health it can be your loved ones or it can be even a delicious cup of coffee and then the sixth step is limiting negative input so mind your media <laughs> that means be mindful of the information you consume so limit exposure to negativity in news or entertainment so choose content that inspires and uplifts you so instead of watching a depressing movie read a book on personal development or listen to a podcast or any uplifting music so limiting negative input so majorly our negative input uh, in this era is the social media so be mindful of the information you consume and limit the exposure to negativity in news and entertainment next is positive affirmations so reprogram your mind so repeat positive affirmations daily these can be specific to your goals or general statements about your worth and capabilities so for example i am confident i am capable and worthy of success i am open to new opportunities that align with my desires so these type of positive affirmations so repeating positive affirmations you know uh will reprogram your mind next important thing is journaling so journaling is a very good practice even for the reframing and you know rewriting your story use journaling to process past experiences and rewrite negative events in a more empowering light so um this aligns with the author's revision technique so you are revising your past so if the past job if a past job reject, re, uh, rejection affected your confidence for example write down the experience 
then rewrite it focusing on the lessons learned and your growth what are the lessons learned on that past job rejection and you know and how have you grown you know further so for see building a positive mental diet is a journey it is not a destination so we have to be patient and celebrate your progress every moment and trust the power of your focused thoughts to shape your reality so that's about it for today and i will see you in the next session with the full book summary and thank you for staying tuned please post in your queries and uh, you know thoughts on the subject thank you